Jing Yu is an ice type character following the path of destruction who uses two different states in combat. Different states? What's that? Mm, think of it this way. When Jing Yu is in prolonged combat, her Mara struck persona takes over and she changes states. When Jing Liu uses her skill, Transcendent Flash, she accumulates stacks of Syzygy. Whoa! Isn't Transcendent Flash the legendary sword move from Mr. CN's story? The one that cuts through time itself? You sure seem well versed in High Cloud Quintet stories, March. <laughs> When Syzygy stacks up to a set amount, Jing Liu is consumed by Mara and enters a spectral transmigration state. In the spectral transmigration state, Jing Liu's every attack deducts a set percentage of HP from her ally's max HP. However, her attack increases according to the corresponding total HP consumed. Ah, uh, see? I told you she attacks her allies! While in the Spectral Transmigration state, Jing Liu's skill, Transcendent Flash, becomes Moon on Glacial River, and she is unable to launch basic attacks. Moon on Glacial River doesn't consume skill points, but does consume stacks of Syzygy. When stacks reach zero, Jing Liu exits the Spectral Transmigration state. Jing Liu's ultimate, Floor Ephemeral Dream Flux, deals a set percentage of her attack as ice damage to a single target and adjacent enemies, as well as granting her additional stacks of Syzygy. Whether it's normal state ice beauty Jing Liu, or red-eyed spectral transmigrator state Jing Liu, she's one heck of a sword master. According to Cienjo records, she was taken by the Ten Lords before the onset of Mara, and subsequently detained in the Shackling Prison. The famous confrontation with her apprentice, Jing Yuan, would come later. <sighs> Becoming Mara struck is an unavoidable fate for Xianzhou long-life species.